welcome again in this tutorial we will create a dynamic navigation and for that I already designed a simple bootstrap uh, navigation in here and I just copy and paste it from uh, uh, bootstrap get bootstrap site so this is a very simple design that I have created in here if you go in template and element and nav.php you are able to see this navigation code I already shared this uh, navigation code uh, in my video description so you can just go and just copy and paste it from uh, the source and this is the previous navigation that we already created uh, this is the uh, this is the navigation that we are seeing in here so what I'm going to do I'm just uh, going to co comment this uh, navigation that must that means the old navigation that I'm commenting and after save if you go and go to your page you should see something like that i already created two tables so if you go in my database i already shared my database uh, with uh, in video description so you can see that i already created a menus table you can see the menus that is the id name status created and modified so name there has three names for menus and this menus has sub menus this is the sub menus table and you can see the menu ID that I have given. This is the foreign key and also called the mapping ID that I have given in here or mapping field that I have given here. So here you can see the menus one has three sub menus and menus two has two sub menus. One is Node.js and React. So let's see in menus table. Menus one is PHP. So PHP has three sub menus. Menus two is JavaScript. JavaScript has uh, two sub menus. So this is the two sub menus from JavaScript. And another thing, this uh, Java has no any sub menus. Okay, so we have to print these uh, menus and sub menus in here dynamically. So for that, I'm going in my source bus. So just uh, opening my terminal first. So first, what I will do, I will create my model. So for menus table, so I'm giving here the cd bin going in my bin directory. And giving the simple command cat back model menus back. So after hit on enter, the main will be create. So I'm just uh, close this panel. I'm just going in my source and going in my uh, source. And this is the model. And this is the entity. And you can see the menu.php in green color. This uh, this uh, file has created for giving the uh, back command. And this is the table folder. You can see the menus table in here. I'm just opening this menus table. And you can see that uh, in little bit, if you go down and you can see that this, uh, by automatically it has created this has many association with sub menus. So you can see the foreign key, they have used the menu ID and this is the sub menus. Uh, the has many relation help built it uh, with menus. So we just need a simple, write a simple code now in controller. So I'm just going in my controller. And I'm opening my blocks controller. So this blocks controller actually I'm using for my front end. So if you has, uh, if you have multiple uh, controller, then I would recommend then you can use this code in app controller. And in block controller, you can see the before filter method. This before filter method I, I already used for change my layout that I have used this blog layout for my front end. If you use this before, before filter, you have to use this user interface, uh, even interface that I have used in here. This is a, uh, this is a requirement that you have to use this event interface and use this event interface event in here. So now I will write some code in here and i'm just uh, giving you another information this this before filter will be uh, fire or this event will be fire before the all action fire so this is the action the home action about action and this method will be a fire before this uh, execute this uh, action so so let's write some code so first i'm in blocks controller and i have to fetch data from menus table so i'm not in uh, uh, blocks table that I'm going to fetch. So I have to load the model in here. So I'm just giving here that this load model method that I'm using for load my model. And the man, uh, model name is menus that I've given in here. 
and I am using uh, a simple query in here that I will use. So I'm giving here a variable and equal this menus and the find and giving here the all and giving here the array and giving here the content. This content actually for fetch your associative data. So I'm just giving an array again in here and giving the submenus. So this this submenus will be this name, this submenus. So giving here the submenus and finishing my uh, query in here. And then we have to send this menus to my view. So for that, we have to use a method in CatPHP called set method. So this set method. In this set method, I will use two parameters. First parameter will be the name of my menus. So I'm just using the menus. And the second one will be this menus. That means this query. So after save, now we are able to fetch this menus from our view or from my template. So let's see and reload your page again. And if you go in variables, if you go in here, now you can see the menus in here. And we also able to see our submenus in here. This is the submenus. For example, menus on PHP has three submenus. This is the one submenus, cat PHP. This is the Laravel. This is the YII, like that. And this is another submenus for JavaScript and submenus in here. And the final one for Java, you can see the submenus is MT. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just um, writing a simple code in my template. So I'm going in uh, my template now. So where is my template? This is a template and this is the element and this is the nav. This nav actually uh, showing in here. And I will just write a simple for each loop in here under after the UL or unordered list. So in here, giving a PHP tag that, and using the for each. So for each loop, I will be use this variable that I have sent in here, the menus that I have sent, and I will have received it in here. And here I will use this menu, and I'm changing it like this, a colon, and ending my temporary, I'm just uh, ending my for each here, in for each, like that. And removing this list, I just need one list in here. And also removing this to like so it's the uh, it's looking fresh now so this menu name i will print it in here so i'm just changing here like this that means php tag and also echo in here and i'm using this menu and the field name my field name is name the same so now if you go and load your page again so you should see something like that you can see the php javascript java and drop down list so this uh, three, actually we are seeing only menu. So we are not seeing the sub menu and also the drop down. So we, we have to write some code in here. So before that, uh, uh, just think, uh, think, uh, think one thing that we have to think that uh, this list, that means if when we will see this list, when we have no any sub menus, then we will see our menu like this. When we have sub menus, then we have to give our code view like that so for that i am just giving here a simple condition so how will be the condition so before that i'm just cut this line and paste it in here that means before the uh, unordered list end in here i'm just giving the for each in here and i'm just writing a giving a condition in here so if the condition for the condition i'm just starting my php tag and giving here the condition so if this menu has this sub menu so my sub menus menus so if this uh, is not is this empty that means this menu has no any sub menus then i will see this list i will see this structure actually so I'm just ending my here. So now see, after save, if you go and load your page, what you are seeing, you see that this drop down list three times, 
but you are seeing the only Java in here because only Java has no any sub values. So for the for the reason that I, we are seeing only Java in here. And the three data, three times this menu has run. So for that we are seeing this three times. So what do we do? I'm just changing it in diff to else in here. So this is the else and giving here the colon again. And I'm finishing my for each loop in here. Or sorry, for uh, if condition in here. Like that. So now I'm giving the menu name also in here. This is the menu name for our drop down menu name. So after save, if you go and load your page again, you should see now your drop down menu, but there is no any sub menus that you are seeing in here. It's the static menu that you are seeing, but you are able to see your PHP and JavaScript because this two has sub menus. So we are seeing the drop down structure. So now we have to just dynamic our sub menus. So I'm just going and writing a simple code in here. So for that, I'm removing this two. I just need one because so here I'm just giving a simple for each loop again. This is the for each loop. And in this time, I'm removing these two things and giving here the colon and giving here the like that and finishing my for each in here. So like that. So you can see this what will be the this variable this variable will be this menu and sub menu so i'm going in here this taking the this menu menu and i'm using here the sub menu sub menus why because this is the list this is the nested array if you see observe your variable again you can see the menus and it's an array and you can see the sub menus it's also an array so this is the nested array. So for that, we have to use the two sub for each loop in here. So this is the menu and sub menu. That means I have used these menus and also these sub menus that I have used. This sub menu. So I'm just giving here the sub menus, sub menu, and giving the name in here now, changing this name. And the field name of my sub menus. So after save, now if you go and load your page again, you should see PHP like that, sub menus in here, sub menus in here, like that. So this is the simple code for create a dynamic navigation in CAC PHP. And if you now, uh, if you have query now that how you will send the action from this um, uh, using this href. I already given a tutorial when we have created this navigation. You can see that I have used this URL build. So this URL build you can use for send your request here to your controller action. So I'm not going to give this tutorial, uh, not going to write this code in here. But if you uh, face any problem that you can propose to write this uh, code in here, then I will give the next tutorial on it. But I think that you don't, I don't need to write here this uh, URL build function. And I think it's very simple. So this is the simple way to create your dynamic uh, navigation in CAC PHP. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I already shared this source in my video description. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next.